Morning Ignite and Epic. I'm Craig Smith and I've been promoted to today's Tuesday prime time slot in the youth uh, rap videos. Um, I actually considered uh, shaving my head um, to be Craig today but I, I ran out of time. Um, Craig's fine, he'll be back <laughs> later in the week that I'm covering Tuesday um, and we're looking at five things to pray for the people you love and we're praying for today um, a Christian friend on pages 56 and 57 and today we're thinking about um, a willingness to suffer, which is a hard topic, isn't it? I'm one of those people who tries to please everybody. Um, I don't like it when I think somebody's unhappy with me. Um, I always want everybody to be happy. Um, I like people to like me. And maybe that doesn't sound like such a big problem to try and please everyone. Sounds like a good thing, doesn't it? But sometimes we can't please everyone. And sometimes we shouldn't try to please everyone <laughs> because the things that would please people might be wrong um, and our passage today in 1 John chapter 3 looking at verse 13 it says do not be surprised if the world hates you do not be surprised if the world hates you John says because you're different if you're a Christian if you're following Jesus you are different from the West rest of the world and we shouldn't be surprised if they hate you for it and John gives the example of Cain and Abel from Genesis, two brothers, one brother who honoured and obeyed God, Abel, and one brother who didn't, Cain. And Cain hated Abel because Abel did what's right and tried to please God. Abel didn't try to please people, Abel tried to please God, and so Cain hated him. And we shouldn't be surprised, the Bible says, if because we try to please God, that other people hate us. We shouldn't be surprised if life gets hard and other people hate us. Um, so we need to be ready to stand up for what's right, even when others don't like it. Whether that means telling people about Jesus, um, who might not want to hear that he's the only way to God. Whether that means loving people who are difficult or uncool or actually don't appreciate being loved. <laughs> um, and maybe it's being honest when it hurts, when it's going to hurt us to be honest. Um, or hurt others. Sometimes we shouldn't be surprised if the world hates us. Um, and that's a hard thing for all of us, isn't it? Because to all of, for all of us, to some extent, um, we love people to like us. And so you need to pray for your Christian friends today um, that they would be willing, um, when the time comes, um, to suffer. That they would be willing to stand up for what's right, um, to say the truth, and to love people even when it hurts. Um, so pray for, your, pray for yourself, pray for others in the youth group and for other Christian friends that you have, um, that that would be them, that they'd be willing to suffer for Jesus. Um, and obviously you can come and talk to any of us leaders um, about this any other time, because we would love to pray for you and support you. Um, sometimes, um, sometimes it is hard to be a Christian. Sometimes we will suffer for being a Christian. Um, but we can pray to our, our Father who loves us um, at any time. So yeah, you've watched the video. Have a little reread of that passage in 1 John um, and then pray for your Christian friends and for yourselves. Have a good day.